I have one messy coder here with an asset store review of the Rome Fantasy Pack 2 from Quantum Theory. Before we start, I want to tell you what's happening this Saturday, 26th of January. It's very exciting. I'm giving away 10 grand, 10 grand worth of Unity assets and games on my live Twitch stream or the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder. It's my one year anniversary on Twitch. We've done so much in a year, it's crazy. And I say thank you, I'm giving away 10 grand's worth of Unity assets and games. Oh my word, I'm so excited, I can't even speak. Speaking to 10 different developers, you can come and chat, chat with them, ask them any questions you want. All you need to do is be a follower, a sub on the YouTube is gonna be lovely, it's for free. Just click that sub button. Go in the description down below, there's a link. Uh, click on it. It's all the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder. Be a follower and then you can enter in the raffles exclamation mark raffles in chat. Oh, not waffles, but raffles. We're going to be speaking with people like the developer of Aquas, the developer of Cascade, IK Plus, Atavism Boys are back, the developer of Digger. We've got Procedural Dungeon Toolkit. If you're making mobile games, we've got Stan the Man. Now, if you want to make games and you don't know how to code, We've got the Cat Game Kit. They are coming onto chat to talk to us. You can make games and don't even have to write a single line of code. People keep telling me they want to make games but they can't code. You don't need to anymore because you've got things like the Cat Game, Cat Game Kit. Say that three times fast. Once again, it's so shocking, I have to say it. $10,000 worth of stuff we're giving away this Saturday. 26th of Jan. Oh, I need to calm down. Right, let's watch this wonderful review. I'll see you all in a second. I've won Messy Coder here inside Unity with the Rome Fantasy Pack 2 from Quantum Theory. Retails $85. I managed to pick it up while it was on the Christmas time sale, end of year sale on Unity Asset Store. The missus said I wasn't allowed to buy it because it was too expensive, but you know. It was Christmas, I decided to get myself a treat. She doesn't know that I got it. She doesn't watch the vids. She doesn't watch the streams. So she'll never find out. Don't tell her. This pack's all about the fancy Roman villas. Rome Fantasy Pack 1 was about the dirty, gritty streets of Rome. This is about the fancy villas of the wealthy that live in Rome. And you get a lot of these lovely decals, these wonderful marble decorations that you get. Look at them. Look at these pretty, pretty decorations that you can have on your walls. I've got the light blaring down. I've baked it, done everything. I've put the post-processing pack two from the package manager. I've done everything I thought you could do, but as I say, you don't get instructions. So you really, you're kind of guessing. I don't, there's missing uh, scripts on objects. I don't know what the scripts are supposed to be. It would be nice if I had an instruction. So that's my little quite here. Look at these lovely decals, this lovely artwork. This is what this pack's all about. There's a lot of models that you get in this pack. If we go to the props, uh, you see these interior props. There's a lot of things that we get in this pack that you can use for decorations, for making your scene. And there's a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of detail, a lot of detail. Look at these fountains. Beautiful, that they are. beautiful. You've got four different types of knockers, you've got pans. If you want to have a little Fortnite run about smacking people in the, the pans. And one thing I do love is that you've got a special shader that you can put aging to make your frescoes age. You can you know, instance them to make them a little random and put little changes on them to make them different. Obviously you'll do them all exactly the same, but you get you get my point. And you've got a lot, a lot of frescoes. Now don't expect any naughty erotic frescoes like you would see in a proper documentary or watching Spartacus or anything like that because obviously this is being sold on the Unity Asset Store so you don't get any naughty kinky stuff. That's what my wife said I wasn't allowed to buy it probably because there was no naughty frescoes. But they are beautiful. Let's get yourself on the, uh, on the old internet and download yourself some naughty Roman frescoes if you want to put them on your wall. There's a lot of beautiful artwork. And the thing that just blows me away is these mosaics on the floor. They are beautiful. When we're talking about realism, you can see these imperfections here on how they put down the tiles. They are lovely. Really are. It's beautiful. 
it just reminds me of walking around these archaeological sites that I've been to many times and just looking about how beautiful, really, really, really beautiful they are. Just there's so many different tiles and different styles of tiles as well that you get in this pack. So it's really hard to fault them. Really, I, mean, I, mean, I try. I try to fault stuff as much as I can, and it's difficult. Obviously, these aren't moving perfectly from one to the other because they're here for a reason to show you all the different types of floor that you get in this pack and their textures are outstanding look at them they just feel fantastic beautiful nuts it is nuts oh. but then you know some of the things that you see you're like well is this naughty little cut here because they don't obviously it doesn't tile well is that because it was just thrown together for this demo scene or is that because it doesn't tile well and I was like, when you look at this wall, you go, well, that looks weird. It looks like it's melting, like a strange, surreal painting. Is it supposed to look like that? It's just freaking me out a little bit. Probably is, but it didn't have to look like it. It's like it really is melting. Maybe make those textures a little bit different. These are beautiful. I love, I love these bricks. Really do. And a lot of the marble, the finishing here, lovely elsewhere not so great but his wood's good he's got good wood I love the knockers now there are a couple of weird things I mean that's that's nice look at that detail on there and then I've got here this seam that just goes all the way down they go well that, you know it's been cut this marble has been cut it's not perfectly round and that's and that's how it looks so is that intentional could be intentional, really. Um, but I don't know. All these different materials that you're getting in this pack, different types of marble. It's a lot. You can't really fault in too much. I try to fault one the material, but look at this wood. This wood's lovely. It's got good. And I'm not getting terrible FPS. I'm not done anything to optimize this scene at all. And I'm getting 300 to 400 FPS. Sometimes flipping down to 250, depending on what's going on. And as I say. I haven't got no optimization going on in this pack at all. And, oh, look at that. That looks lovely. And you get a lot, a lot of lovely little statues. Am I happy with my purchase? Well, I'm really happy that I got it on a sale. Would I have spent $85 on this? No, to be honest, I wouldn't. That's because I am cheap. I don't have $85 to spend on a Rome pack that I know I'll never actually use to make a game. If you are making a Rome game or a Rome project, uh, then yeah you definitely need to buy this pack because you're not really going to find anything out there on the asset store that's going to be equivalent now look, this is what annoys me about this marble here I know why you've got that marbling like that but you wouldn't really have that finishing here like you've got here finished well there finished badly lovely knockers beautiful knockers cool lovely statues there's a lot in this pack that is beautiful most of it actually is breathtaking forget about the weird nature that you get in the pack i'm going to squint more on this lovely artwork the attention to detail that he puts in here it really is beautiful oh i love this stuff these little chairs these lovely mosaics can't really argue at all with the number of mosaics that you get is, is more than enough and if we look let's take a look into the actual prefabs folders and the meshes folders just so you can see what you're getting now arguing about would you get lods i'm normally one of these guys who's sitting there old more lods you're not going to get lods in the internal props because you know they're internal if you don't if you're not in the room you're not going to draw them you do get these bazaars if you can use them they're there for you to play about with and if we pop in to the um let's have a look at Food. Look, we've got a load of food, bread, apples, artichokes. We've got a load of decals, um, best to see the prefab folder of the decals, but you get a load. Let's have a look, let's pick up a mesh that would be an interior mesh. Let's find something and see what the, uh, the score of it's going to be. Let's have a look at a big juicy prop. 
Here we go, this chair I was playing about with earlier. This chair, 1,898 votes. Not terrible, not a crazy number. Was expecting a lot more. Let's go find uh, this carafe. 331. Very modest. Um, here's drawers. 1,330. Again, not a crazy number. Let's make it big so you can see them better. Let's find the knockers. What's the knockers going to be? 327. All about the textures. So you're not really needing lods on these. The lods you're going to get when you look at the prefabs for um, exteriors. Let's look at the roofs. You've got lods on the roofs because, you know, you're going to be seeing that when you're walking around from far away. So you've got lods on the roof. Makes sense. Do you have lods on the walls? Oddly, no. So that would have thought, but I'm going to say you don't really need a lod when it's just a plane and it's the texture to the work. So, yeah, kind of makes sense on that one. Do you want a lod on a plane wall? <laughs> no, you don't really need one. So, yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut when it comes to that one. Shall I? Let's have a look at the props. One thing I love about the props is that everything is modular and you do get lots of ready-made rooms for you to build your villas. That was a nice little addition. Makes it very easy if you want to quickly put together a load of houses. And you've got a load of frescoes. And as he says, a load more frescoes in the meshes folder. Then we go into the frescoes folder. There's a lot of meshes in there for the frescoes. And what have we got here? What have we got here? Um, walls. If you want to just be chucking walls yourself. Floors and columns. Look at them, how beautiful. It's a lot we get in this pack. Really is. Alright, let's give this a score. A lot of these models are beautiful, I have to say. A lot of them are fantastic. I would like to have more prefabs, more like living prefabs, eating utensils combs, sewing needles, you know, little weird stuff to help just fill out your Roman life, your Roman world. Maybe it's going to be in an add-on pack, maybe I'm being greedy, maybe I'm being fussy, but I want them. I also want to have some proper documentation for this pack, not have to use Rome Pack 1 documentation, which is out of date, not really valid for this pack, so that's a shame. The artist is responsive when it comes to emails, even at a busy time of the year when he's been making lots of sales and it's around Christmas time he was still responding to me so thumbs up jobs are good and I'm going to give this a respectable and a very healthy 4 out of 5 I mean I like it I really do I'm just not as much in love with it as I am the Rome 1 pack maybe that's my own taste because I love walking around the dirty gritty streets of Rome I'm not too sure about this seam here that's on the column is it there intentionally or not I'm, I don't know it confuses me so I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 I'm happy with my purchase I'm well chuffed I got it in a sale and I'm going to just work out one day would I make a Roman game or am I just going to keep buying Quantum Theory's assets when he makes them with no intention to ever use them for a game and on the 26th of January, we've got my live anniversary stream or the w.twitch.tv slash the mess code where I'm giving away $10,000 worth of Unity assets and games to many, many lucky winners. Not just one person. That's right, 10 grand's worth of lots of assets. We've got some of them which are worth like $500 each. Let me just drink a glass of water. I'm shocked about how much we're doing. How much? 10 grand? Yes, that's right. We're also interviewing 10 different asset store developers. They're so, exci so exciting that even my chair likes to squeak about it. We've got the developer of Aquas. We've got the developer of Cascade. It's Antonio. We've got IK Plus, Chris Development. We've got Adivism back in chat. We've got a Procedural Dungeon Toolkit. We've got Stand Games. We've got Cat Game Kit as well. We've got the guy who makes Digger also in the chat. We've got the real developer of Real Ivy, amazing Ivy kit that Andy had take down off the asset store. He's putting it back on. He's going to explain to us all of the problems of being an asset store developer when it comes to nasty things like tax. We've also got the wonderful Yolan on chat showing us his amazing product that's going to help you 
handle your Unity Asset Package Management roles and strife. Oh my word. We've got other people that are going to be coming on the stream later on. We've got Befio, we've got Viz2K, we've got the guy behind GPU Instancer, and I'll even try to talk in Quantum Theory himself to come on and talk about his love of Rome. Let's all badger him until he comes on. But until then, come and join me on the 26th of January where you can win 10 grand worth of Unity assets, talk to 10 different beautiful asset developers, and, well, have a wonderful time with us. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.